Hello everyone, welcome to another series. So, uh, in this series, I'm thinking we'll do game development and we'll start with a slightly basic game. So, we'll make that first and then in the same series, we'll move on to um, a more complicated, a more advanced game and we'll do that. But in this first video, what I want to do is I want to talk about um, how game development is different from app development. And I think a lot of people don't know the answer to this. So there are two things which are primarily different in games. The first is um, graphics. The second is physics. So usually in your apps, you uh, don't need too much of graphics. Of course, you do need some some amount of, uh, you know, images that you need to show. But uh, there aren't any uh, too many moving images, not too many animated uh, stuff. And all of that falls into the graphics aspect. The second is that um, the, uh, the physics which is you know collisions and movement all of those things um, those, are, those are again some things that you don't need in an app what's also different and um, I think I would put this in again graphics is that apps usually don't render themselves uh, again and again so uh, what do I mean by rendering um, what I mean by that is that um, the way a game would work or the way any screen would work if the screen had to change so if uh, let's say you had a moving ball in in a game um, the way it actually moves is the screen is being drawn again and again so it's being redrawn and when we say we have you know uh, a frame rate of 60 what that means is that within one second so it's frames per second fps so what that means is that uh, the screen will be redrawn 60 times every second so uh, if a ball is uh, let's say uh, here first the screen will be redrawn when the ball moves slightly and uh, so on when the screen gets redrawn the ball gets drawn in a new position and because the ball is moving uh, by such a small amount in every one um, iteration of the drawing uh, we see the ball moving continuously but of course uh, on a micro level it's uh, discrete movement so uh, what apps do is apps only uh, the screen won't be drawn again unless it's absolutely necessary so if let's say I receive some data over a network on my whatsapp then the screen will be drawn again or uh, a lot of times only the particular component which needs to change will be drawn again so for now let's just treat as the screen being drawn again so what what happens there is that uh, the screen is drawn again with a different number on the chat or uh, let's say some chat moves above some other chat so things like that but this is only done when it's absolutely necessary so when you receive data over a network or uh, when I hit some button let's say the screen is drawn again with uh, you know a different screen open or uh, a pop-up open above the screen as an overlay um, but in games what happens is often there are so many moving components that we want the screen to be redrawn even without the user doing anything so even if there's no input from the user there's no data coming over the network even in those cases the app screen is being redrawn and um, you might have noticed that games take up more battery than uh, you know apps and the reason that is again that the screen is being redrawn so many times that the processor is um, being used more and that is exactly why games take up um, more battery and more memory than uh, other applications so that's about how games and apps differ uh, i hope you've understood this difference and uh, this is something that you really should know um, if you're going to develop applications and games in the next video what we'll do is we'll jump into my favorite um, editor which is unity 3d um, if you want you can head over to the download page and just go ahead and download unity but i will go uh, through all of that once in the next video um, i'll see you there if you're going to follow the series don't forget to share it with your friends so that they can also follow it and don't forget to hit the like button and the subscribe button if you aren't already subscribed to my channel see you next time